Today we're just gonna go through a quick painting tutorial for this here UNSC outpost for the upcoming Halo Flashpoint. This is a pretty simple paint. Uh, not too many colors going to this, but I like I like it. You know, it just comes out pretty clean, and you know, it shouldn't take too long. I'll just go through the colors as I do them, and I'll show you how it, how I did it. First step is to build a battlefield. Follow my last video to see how that happens. Next up is priming. I used a Vallejo Fat Grey. I use this because it's cheap. Just make sure you get all the nook and cranny. This paint's thick. So I spray from a distance. Did a quick mask, you don't have to. I did a base coat in Vallejo US Olive Drab. As opposed to the Rust-Oleum Flat Grey. This is a hobby paint, so it's very easy to use. But I found I have to spray much closer because it's not as thick as the Vallejo, as the Rustoleum. So we're going to be building this one, or painting this one. So some of the colors we went. This is was primed in flat gray. And then I, you know, masked off the inside to delineate it from the outside. I also masked off, you know, key, a few key spots just to make it look a bit more grey. I then did a base coat of the Vallejo Hobby Paint in US Olive Drab. Then the first colour we did was Vallejo Dark Grey. That's, you know, basically the main colour I used to do all the lift different markings and you know spots and things so I'm just gonna go through on this one and follow along if you want you of course don't have to use these exact same colors use whatever colors you want all right I'll be back when painting this dark gray I just make sure to keep it nice and neat I don't do anything fancy I'm just using an old brush that I don't really care too much about That is, I believe, all the grey detail. I don't know, how long has that been? That's been about 1 hour 15 minutes. So, you know, a bit of an investment, but looks alright. Next up, I'm just going to do a little bit of white. That's kind of a base for the posters that I'm going to put on later. And I'll go through that when I do that. But I have got this little jig that I've made to help me because I'm bad at making labels and you know I've only got an inject printer, printer so I can't print in white so I'll just do this quick for this off white I have a pre-cut jig that I used so I know what size the post is gonna be I just do this nice and quick kind of like a dry brush Alright, we got that done. 
gonna let that dry for a little bit before I put any, uh... Ah, so I use, um, Vallejo's decal mix. So we got gloss varnish, decal softener, decal fix. And then there is also matte, somewhere, matte varnish. Yep, matte varnish. And we're gonna use all of this, put some of these decals on that I've kind of put on this transfer sheet. So I think one here, one here, and then two posters there. So I'll do gloss varnish first. If you need help, if you, uh, I'm not very good at it, so you're probably better to follow Valerio's actual tutorial, but I'll do my best. For all this Vallejo decal thing, I use a really old brush I don't care about. So we'll let that dry for a while, and then we'll do our next thing. So I'm going to do kind of like metallic around the windows, and I am an absolute barbarian, so I'm just going to use a pen. Just a regular cheap $2 store metallic pen. I definitely should get a better thing to use, but I haven't got one yet, so this is what I got. Uh, here we go. For this metallic pen, I try to be neat. I try to be not touching it because it's very wet and it will get on your fingers and it takes quite a long time to dry. Now we can do the uh, next part of the decals. So first thing I'm just going to cut them out, the ones I want, and then we'll get to that. All right, next up, we get the labels cut out. So we need. Where is it? Decal fix. Next up. And water. Tweezers. Alright, so we'll just drop the first one in. Toss in some decal. You grab the little label. Dry for a little bit. Next up, we'll do just the other UNSC label. Alright, 
Last one. So next up, we'll do some decal soften on top. And then we'll have to call it for now. Because I have to let that dry for a few hours. And that is done for now. So we'll just let that, like I said, dry. And we'll come back later and we'll keep going. Alright, now that's that dry. I'm just gonna quickly add some more matte varnish over the top. And that should be for those done. And then we can keep painting. Alright, with that done, I think that's all the decals put on. So there's the UNSC logo on the front. We got some Marine Corps and it joined the UNSC. And another UNSC logo on the back. I think it came out pretty good. You know, like I said, if I had better transfer paper, it'd probably come out a bit cleaner. It'll probably dry brush a little bit just to make it blend a little bit more. Unfortunately, I haven't got this right color green, so I'll just dry brush in like a gray. Well, to that, we'll just kind of do some weathering and this will pretty much be done. So I think I'll weather in a little bit of grey first, just along the tops and things. Just to, you know, double up a little bit. So I'll do that. So you can dry brush however you want to dry brush. I'm just going to pour this straight onto the paper here. And then just grab a brush and dry brush. And we'll get to it. I'm just using Vallejo Neutral Grey right there. For this dry brushing, I just tried to make sure that I didn't put it on too thickly because I didn't want to make this look too weathered. I just wanted to make it look a little bit used. that done we'll do a little bit of metal so I'm just using this cheap cheap metal color that I found at my local hobby shop you can use whatever color you want I'm just gonna use this one because it's cheap for this metallic detail I use a makeup brush that I you know got from a cheap shop I just make sure you know mostly the drip brush from the top down and try to get all the edges because it picks up the paint really good. Right, with that done, we will use a little bit of brown just to do the floor and then we'll do a different color brown just to make it look less flat. So you, this one first. For this flat earth paint, I mostly just hit the bottom to kind of look like, you know, there's mud and things from the ground. And I just did a little bit around the place now and again. That's the first brown done. Now we just go through with the other brown. Just make it look a little bit less flat. flat. One is just a lighter flat brown. I'll just switch to a different brush just because that one's probably wet. For this flat brown, I also went over the flat earth I did previously just to give it a little bit more texture. But then when I got into the nook and crannies where the like the guards on top meet the railing, I did it a little bit in there to make it look a little bit rusted. But not too much. That done. 
So, you know, we're going for, uh, you know, kind of used, but not crazy where the look. I think it works okay. You can certainly do a bit more if you were feeling so inclined. I think I'm just going to go through with a little bit of a pencil. So I'm just going to go through with a pencil. Just do a bit more, you know, just go along the edges. I'm just going to make it look a bit more shiny, a bit more used. I just did this lightly, and it gives a nice shine when you put in the light. Alright, so this is just some black cheap acrylic paint, and some water. I'm just going to use this as a wash. I'm just going to wash this. Like I said, cheap black acrylic mixed with water, maybe a drop of dish detergent. I mostly go from top to bottom, and I don't care about pooling because it'll just be a nice, you know, water well in effect at the end. And that would be pretty much done. So we'll let that dry, and then come back in and do a little roundup. That's pretty much dry. And I'd say that is just about done. So it's a pretty simple paint job. You know, I didn't go crazy overboard with it. I think it's a pretty easy one that you could do yourself if you wanted to. Um, not much else to say. I think some things I could approve would be getting rid of decals because I don't really like this decal paper. But I did buy, you know, the cheapest team room decal paper I could buy. So that could be something I could look at changing. I'm pretty happy with, you know, the actual scheme of it. I think it looks you know, fairly UNSC. If you have any suggestions, I'd like to love to hear them in the comments. But I'll, you know, give you a nice clear shot of it. Maybe you do a nice roundup of this. Make sure you like and subscribe. Because I'll be doing a bit more Halo Flashpoint in the future. I'm really excited for this game. And hopefully, I'll see you next time on the next video. Thanks. Bye.